Hello there. Uh, you must be uh, Borellis. Anthony Borellis? Yeah, my friends call me Tony. Well, it's nice to meet you, Tony. I'm Mr. Pinkley, your driving instructor. My friends call me Frogface. I think I'll just call you Mr. Pinkley. You don't want to be my friend, Tony? No, not really. Have it your way, Mr. Borellis. So do you have any questions before we begin? Uh, yeah. Why are you wearing that helmet? What? This? This isn't a helmet. No, this is my uh, driving instructor's hat. It looks like my brother's helmet. Well, if it was your brother's helmet, he'd be wearing it, not me. What? So have you ever driven before? Uh, yeah, a few times, mostly around the neighborhood. Have you ever got into a car accident? No. I mean, I've only been driving a couple of weeks. 75% of all accidents happen within the first 30 miles of you, Mr. Borellis. Did you know that? I did not. And 35% of all accidents happen within the first two miles of your home. Did you know that, Mr. Borellis? No. Wow. That's 110%. Why? You're lucky to be alive. Is it all right if we start driving now? You seem to be in a rush, Mr. Borellis. Are you always in a rush? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying I'm here to learn to drive and you're here to teach me. Think fast. Slow reaction time. Not a good sign, Mr. Borellis. Not a good sign at all. Did you just give me a bad mark? What? That's highly confidential, Mr. Borellis. I could lose my job if I told you. Dropping keys has nothing to do with my driving ability. You know, maybe we should just take it slow for today. Go over the rules of the road, safety tips, how to keep your car nice and clean. No, I, I'd really, really like to drive now. We all want to drive, Mr. Borellis, but don't you think it's important to lay down a good, solid foundation first? You're driving me crazy. Wait, where are you going? I'm going to ask for another ins driving instructor. Okay, okay, let's go. Do you remember everything you need to check before you start the car? Of course. One seatbelt, two seat, three mirrors. Um, you need to fasten your seatbelt too, Mr. Pinkley. Oh, of course. You got a good eye, Mr. Borellis. Good job. What was that, Mr. Borellis? I said you're doing you're doing a great job. Aw, thank you. It's my first time, you know. Um, aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. How are you supposed to be a safe driver if you're not even sure of yourself, Mr. Borellis? I'm ready. I'm positively, definitely ready. Oh, yeah? What's that little lever thingy over there? This? Yes. That opens the gas cap. Correct. Keep a very close eye on it. Shall we start driving now? If you must.
just cross yourself? What? No, of course not. Uh, I had an itch. You know, allergies. You really don't have anything to worry about. Of course, Mr. Brillis. I have the utmost confidence in that. We're gonna die! Why did you say that? I'm sorry. I thought I saw a train heading towards us. We're still in the parking lot. Very observant of you, Mr. Bellis. You feeling all right, Mr. Pinkley? Never better, Mr. Bellis. Never better. Because you kind of smell like pickles. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I can't help but eat them whenever I'm nervous. A lot of pickles? Two quarts, baby jerkins. I really really like to drive now. Of course, Mr. Brillis. That's why we're here. Heart attack! Are you going to be like this the entire drive? Like what, Mr. Brillis? You know, cautious. You can never be too cautious, Mr. Brillis. Why, I can still remember the first time I got behind the wheel of a car. When was that? Oh. Um, yeah, about that. I've actually never been. Hold it. You've never been behind the wheel of a car? Uh, my therapist is a big proponent of exposure therapy. Says I need to face my fears head on. You're afraid of cars? Actually, anything with wheels, trucks, motorcycles, small scooters. Ugh. How did you ever get your driver's license? You're jumping to conclusions, Mr. Borellis. I never said I got my driver's license. You're a driving instructor, and you don't know how to drive? Oh, I know how to drive. It's just I've never done it before. Why did the driving school even hire you? You're jumping to conclusions again. They didn't hire you? Oh, I had every intention of applying for the job. But it's just, when I walked into the office, I saw the clipboard just sitting there, and I, uh... Stole it? I wouldn't use that word stole, exactly. What word would you use? Uh, purloined, uh, killed uh, swiped? There's a hundred of other words you could think of if you only put your mind to it. I don't believe this. Would you like to discuss it with Dr. Sanji? No, no. I believe you. You change your mind rather frequently, Mr. Bellis. Did you know this? Hold it. If you don't have a driver's license, then I'm not allowed to drive with you. Right. And if I had driven, I would have been breaking the law. Correct, yet again. Do you realize what you did? I could have been in serious trouble. I could have had my permit taken away. I could have been arrested. The law is a harsh taskmaster, Mr. Rellis. Is that all for your lesson, then? Yes. Wonderful. This is the owner of the driving school. Would you like to write me a letter of recommendation? It doesn't have to be a long letter. Mr. Borellis? Tony? Ugh, teenagers can be so emotional. <laughs> You, bro, Jorgensen? Yes, I am. Hi, I'm Mr. Vandergroup, your driving instructor. Nice to meet you. Are we taking this car? Uh, yes, we are. Why? It looks kind of small. Oh, I'm sure there's more than enough room for the two of us. Let's get started. All right, the first thing you need to do is familiarize yourself with the car. Now, Brooke, can you tell me where the parking brake is? 
Hmm. This? Very good. Now, what is the emergency flasher? Um, right here. Excellent, excellent. Uh, excuse me? Oh, don't mind. The soul promise will be quiet. That's right. We won't make a peep. <laughs> uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Kenny Jorgensen, and this is my wife, Dorley. Or Brooke's parents. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Great, then you won't mind if we come along? I start the car now, Mr. Vandergroot. No, no, w w wait a minute, wait a minute. Fasten your seatbelt, Stewie. With Brooke behind the wheel, we're sure to be in for a bumpy ride. Oh, Oh, we're just teasing you, Sweetiekins. I'm sure you're a very good driver. A regular Mario and Trini, she is. Come on, honey, smile for the camera. I can't believe this. I know, to think that our little girl is old enough to drive. I have to pee. Well, you just have to wait. I'm sure Mr. Vandegrew wants to get started with the lesson. No, actually, I don't. Now, can I get one with the two of you together? I think I blinked. I'll try it without the flash. Can I start the car now, Mr. Vandegrew? No, you cannot start the car. Smile. You weren't smiling, Mr. Vandegrew. I have to pee. Not now, honey. I'm trying to get the camcorder working. You want a camcorder? Oh, yes. We got all of Brooke's first on tape. Her first smile, her first steps. Her first words. Her first spit up. Dad, I thought you erased that one. How could we erase it? No baby has ever shown such a gift for spitting up. I don't think you people understand. You cannot ride in this car. Remember when we drove to the Grand Canyon, honey? <laughs> Do I? Twelve people, three dogs, and a ferret. In a Volkswagen Beetle, no less. Come on, Brooke. Say something funny. I... I don't know what to say. She doesn't know what to say. Did you hear that, Kenny? Isn't our little girl just the funniest thing? I keep telling you, she's a regular Don Rickles. Look, I'm glad you're so proud of your daughter. She is truly an exceptional girl, but you cannot go with us. Oh, don't be silly. We wouldn't miss this for the world. Are they like this all the time? What? Can you move over a little, Mr. Van Groot? Your head's blocking the shot. What? I have to pee. Why didn't you go at home? <laughs> I couldn't. I was too busy drinking apple juice. Can I start the car now, Mr. Vandegroot? Stop asking me that. Oh. Okay, honey. Now turn the steering wheel back and forth like you're really driving. Like this? Can you make some motor sounds? Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Listen to that, Kenny. Our little girl can even make sound effects. Uh I know, she's a regular, oh, who's that guy in the movie? Uh, what movie? You know, the one where they're being chased by those people. You're driving me crazy! What? Get out of the car! But we haven't gone anywhere. And you're not going to go anywhere! What? I said we're not going to go anywhere! What if I drive real slow, like around the parking lot? No, 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 everybody out now. Aw, okay, everyone out. Not you, Brooke, I need to give you a lesson. But how am I supposed to learn anything without any constant reinforcement and praise? The same way everyone else learns, through practice, lots and lots of practice. That sounds hard. It is. Can I start the car now? 
Yes, Brooke, you can start the car now. Kind of puts a tune in your eye, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Would you like to go to the restroom now? No, I'm good. <laughs> All you have to say? I'm answering the phone. That's how I answer the phone. How do you answer the phone? I say hello, but today I wouldn't say hello. Today I'd say I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? I'm not sorry. Then you're sending mixed messages. I shouldn't be sorry. You should be sorry. Okay, easy there, Abby. We don't want to offend him. Uh, forget that. Offend him. He's a jerk. You're a jerk, Gary. No, no. We don't need to be rude. I'm sorry? Who are you? We're the voices in your head. I have voices in my head? Stop it. You're scaring her. <laughs> awesome. It's not awesome. Abby, sweetie, we're your conscience. My what? We're the angel and devil that sit on your shoulder and give advice. And we're here to let Gary know that we're about to kick his butt. No, we're not. Kick his shin? Nope. We're kicking something, Gary. Part of you is getting kicked, pal. Just tell him in a calm, rational way what your problem is. Gary, I'm really mad at you right now. Not me. What did I do? You got me sent to detention. Loser. Loser. Don't say that. I didn't mean loser. I'm sitting here in detention. They think I cheated. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer. But I didn't cheat. But you cheated. Hey, don't admit to that. What? She's got no proof. Who are you guys? The devil, angel thing. Come on, keep up, man. Gary, by you. We're the voice of reason. <laughs> he is. I'm a man of lies. I'm a liar. Lie to her right now. We didn't cheat. But we did cheat. Yeah, but if we admit we did it, then we'll go to detention. I ain't going back to detention. But we're in detention for something we didn't even do. Ha! <laughs> Fuck to be you. <laughs> Listen, Bob, you are going to march to the principal's office and admit the truth. You told me you needed help because you didn't study last night. That's true. Totally true. Yeah, that's true. So, I didn't cover up my paper in case you needed a little help. Guys like him will always need help. What an idiot. I didn't mean to get you busted. Likely story. No, it's true. Really? Yeah, I just panicked. <laughs> you panicked, wuss? You did not just call me a wuss. Yeah, I'm not smart or clever like you. You think I'm smart? Are you kidding? You're like the smartest girl I know. Really? Yeah. Why do you think I can never talk to you? I thought it was because you hated me. Hated you? No, it's just the opposite. The opposite? Ooh, love. Look at me. I'm Gary and I'm in love. Wuss. Calling me a wuss. Stop being so wussified. Come on, guys. We don't need to fight. He's right. Thank you. But we're not a wuss. Admitting your feel feelings takes real guts. More guts than admitting you cheated and getting us out of detention? Will you stop harping on this? Harping? Isn't that what angels do? Truth is, I've had a crush on you for a long time. Really? Yeah. Duh. Duh. Shut up! Shut up! Yeah, shut up. She was talking to you. I didn't think you wanted anything to do with me because I'm, you know, not as smart as you. Yeah, well, I don't play 
basketball like you. I'm not in a rock band. People don't look up to me. People don't look up to me. Are you kidding? Everybody looks up to you, and not just because you're tall. That's true. Oh, please. Vanity is so ugly. Did you just call me ugly? But I'm still feeling chemistry. I could help if you want. Really? Yeah, so I get a detention in half an hour. Want to get some coffee? My treat. That, that sounds great. I'll bring the chemistry book. Ooh, look who's got a date. What? Got a date too. <laughs> but I'm a girl. I'm allowed to have feelings. We have all kinds of feelings. What are your feelings on framing somebody else for cheating? Will you let it go? Great, I'll see you in half an hour. It's the date. Cheater, cheater. I swear to goodness, I am going to... What? You're threatening me? What kind of angel are you? Shut up. No, you shut up. You shut up. Both of you shut up. ago. I swear, if she doesn't show up in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to go home and take a nice, long bath. 10, 9, 8, 7. Um, well, finally, Miss Appleby, my name is Miss Granville. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Well, you don't stand a chance against me. Excuse me? Oh, I didn't mean you. I'm playing a game called Raffle Reptiles. That's very interesting, Miss Appleby, but we need to... Take that, you stupid gecko! <gasps> What'd you do that for? I was 500 points away from beating my high score. I'm sorry, Miss Appleby, but this is a driving school, and I expect you to focus. Focus? Yes, it means to do one thing at a time. Sounds boring. You're not here to be entertained, Miss Appleby. You're here to learn how to drive. Oh, I already know how to do that. You do? Oh, yeah. I drove 4,000 miles just last week. Wow, really? Of course. I would have reached 5,000 miles if I hadn't run out of my power pellets. Are you talking about a video game? Road Manage 3000. It got a four and a half stars on Gamers Monthly. Video games don't count, Miss Appleby. I want to know if you've driven a real car. You mean like made out of metal? Among other things. Not exactly. Well, let's get started then. Alright. Okay, now before we begin... It hey girl, what's up? No, I'm stuck in this dumb driving class. Probably around four. You want to go to Lulu's? I don't know, Megan. Some of their flavors are just weird. I mean, like, red velvet cake? What is that? Oh, I better go, Megan. I'll call you after class. That was Megan. Enchanting. She's my BFF. Can we start the lesson now? Definitely. I'm all ready to fo fo. The word is focus. Ah, focus. Okay. Whoa! No! 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 You're not ready to drive yet. I'm not. No, you forgot the most important thing. Oh yeah, I've got to connect my Spotify. No, you need to fasten your seat belt. 
And then I can Bluetooth my Spotify? I'm sorry, Miss Appleby, but we won't be listening to any music today. How am I supposed to drive, then? The same way people drove before the invention of the Bluetooth and the Spotify and all these other newfangled contraptions. In silence. Silence? Yes, it means without sound. You live in a crazy world, Miss Granville. Just fasten your seatbelt. Okay, now what's the next thing? Hi, Mom. Yes, I'm in driving class. Yes, my teacher is here too. No, we haven't started yet. I don't know what's taking her so long. We've been here for like hours. Alright, Mom. I love you too. Turn it off. Off? Yes, it means not on. But what if I get an appointing call? Miss Appleby, in the last five minutes, you received a call from your mother and a call from your BFF. B B F F. Now, who could be more important than that? The mayor? Hi, Daddy. The mayor. Of course. Sure, Daddy. I'll pick up some on my way home. How's the city council treating you today? Really? That's too bad. Well, don't let them get you down, Daddy. Alright. Bye, Daddy. They're voting on the city budget today. Delightful. Some of the city council members like to pick on him. Can we get back to the lesson now? I hope so. I'm supposed to meet Megan at four. We'll see about that. Now, before you start the car, take a look around you. Do you know what everything does? What's that? That's the horn. What does it do? It warns other drivers of impending danger. Why don't I just text them? Because you're not supposed to text and drive. Really? Yes, Miss Appleby, it's very dangerous. You might get into an accident. What about Instagram? No. Snapchat? No. Pinterest? No, no, no. You're not supposed to use any of the interwebs while you're driving. Your job is to concentrate on the road. Now, what are you doing? I'm texting everyone to let them know I can't text. I'm at the end of my patience, Miss Appleby. Oh, do you want to try my meditation app? No, I do not want to try your meditation app. It's very relaxing, see? Just imagine you're on a tropical island. Um, um, it helped Daddy through his last election. Just put the phone down and drive. Did you know your ears get red when you're angry? <laughs> you're driving me crazy! There. Wait, did you just post a picture of me? Just to my Instagram followers. And exactly how many followers do you have? Uh, let me check. 9,523. Give me your phone. No, please. I'll put it away. I said give me your phone. That's funny. <laughs> it looks just like my phone. Finally, we can get back to driving. Can you give me a minute, please? I'm finding it hard to breathe. You'll be fine. Now, what's the last thing you knew you need to do before you start the car? Clean the windshield, change the oil, rotate the tires, I don't know! I can't take it anymore. You killed it. It was justifiable homicide, Miss Appleby. But my whole life was on there. That was not your life. Your life is out here, in the real world. Real world? Smell the fresh air, Miss Appleby. 
Look at the trees. Isn't it wonderful? This is what you're missing when you spend every moment of your life hunched over that inane little gadget. You're missing the real world. That must be Megan. Hold on. Hey, Lou. What's up? Mm, can we meet at 3.30? My class ended a little early. No, it was kind of lame. I didn't really learn anything. Don't worry, Miss Grenville. Now you have more time for the real world. Yoga King? But we just went there last week. And besides, their Wi-Fi is terrible. <laughs>